Hey guys, this is Modic here and I'm back here with another video about the Realme 1. So lately I've been uploading a lot of videos about this phone and you guys have a lot of questions about the Realme 1. So I've been using this phone since the past 3 to 4 days as my primary device and today I'm going to answer all of your frequently asked questions. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So the first question that I get a lot is about Google camera on the Realme 1. Does it work and if it does then how do you get Google camera on the Realme 1 So the answer to that is that Google camera as of now is not working on the Realme 1 As you know that you require camera to API to be enabled and that can only be done through root access so that we can get Google camera to work but then as of now there is no way to root this phone even there is no way to unlock the bootloader of this phone so as of now Google camera isn't working but as and when it does I will be making a video about it The next question that I get is that does Realme 1 support dual 4G or not? So yes, Realme 1 does support dual 4G. You can actually use two Geo SIM cards in this phone and both of them will support VoLTE. I even used my Vodafone and my Geo SIM card and both of them were running on 4G as well. Although I don't have VoLTE coverage for Vodafone in my area so I can't comment on dual VoLTE on two different networks but I guess that it should work as well. The third question is about the battery life of the Realme 1 as well as the charging time. So, how are these two things on this phone? So, first of all, the battery life on the Realme 1 is actually not that bad. I thought that 3400 mAh is less, but then it gets me through a full working day. It's definitely not as good as the Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Asus Zenfone Max Pro which can take you to like 1 and a half days, but then I take the phone off the charger at around 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning and then it goes on till 11 or 12 am in the night. Unfortunately, Realme 1 doesn't show you the screen on time so I can't comment on that but honestly the battery life can easily get you through a full working day. Although you will have to plug the phone in at the end of the day. Also with respect to the charging time, the Realme 1 does not support fast charging but it takes around 1 and 1/2 hour or 1 hour 45 minutes to charge if you're not using the phone. So yeah, the charging time is not that bad but it would have been nice to see some fast charging technology in this phone. Next we have to talk about the gaming performance. So honestly, I haven't really played a lot of games on this phone. I've only played PUBG a couple of times and the game ran well. There were instances where I could see some lags and stuttering, but the overall gaming experience was decent. It wasn't that bad and uh, you can play games on this phone. The next thing that people ask me a lot is about the camera. So I've already made a camera comparison between the Realme 1 the Asus Zenfone Max Pro as well as the Redmi Note 5 Pro so i'm going to link that video in the i button as well as in the description box so please go and check it out it's a very detailed comparison and the Realme 1's camera is actually good than the other two phones so yeah go check it out finally a lot of people are also asking if the Realme 1 overheats or not so PUBG is a demanding game so a lot of phones heat when you're playing it and the Realme 1 went to as high as 45 degrees while i was playing the game after 5 to 10 minutes When I charge the phone the phone gets really warm it can go up to 38 to 40 degrees while charging so that's one thing that I thought I should mention also while I was doing a camera test out in the sun with around 40 degrees of temperature the phone did overheat a lot but then that happens with every phone that I do a camera test with so yeah these were some of the frequently asked questions about the Realme 1 like I said I have been using this phone since the past 3 4 days as my primary device and so far I'm really liking the phone I'm not a big fan of Color OS but then overall Oppo has done a good job for the price. I do miss the fingerprint sensor like I've said in my previous videos but the face unlock does actually work 9 out of 10 times. It's only when you're in really dark scenarios that the face unlock doesn't work and you have to enter the pin and at these moments you miss the fingerprint sensor. Also the face unlock is not very secure I've covered that in my 5 problems with the Realme 1 video so you should watch that as well. Anyways these were the frequently asked questions about the Realme 1 if you guys have any more questions then please let me know in the comments i'll either answer them or i'll cover them in my full review of the Realme 1 if you have any more video suggestions then please let me know as well i'll try to make videos on them anyways that's all for now if you guys like this video please like it and if you're new here then definitely hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on my new videos You can also follow me on social media pages for more behind the scenes content. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll be back in a notifications really really soon. Peace.